Team H2 Sports. It's me, Lauren Gambino. I'm just hiding behind here because it's the Monday after the Super Bowl. Am I right? Yeah, it's like the NFL season. I gotta let it go. Oh, how many of you called out sick today? Oh, sorry. A personal day. Mm-hmm. I knew it. No sick days for me, team. I'm your host, Lauren Gambino, and I was dying to get back into your phones today because yesterday got me so mad and I need the support of HQ Sports. <sighs> We're going to take you back to the fourth quarter because that's where anything even slightly interesting happened. Yes, man. Here it is. Tony Michelle in for the touchdown. First score with seven minutes left. Okay, can Jared Goff come back? Oh, Brandon Cook, you got to catch that. All right, can we do it again? Let's see. Oh, and that one is picked off. Okay, um, but surely they can come back. Nope, Skoskowski just, you know, puts them up now by 10. Okay, what can, what can the Rams do? Can they make it? Nope, seven seconds left and they opt to do the field goal. And even that, I mean, I see the reasoning there, but come on, what a boring game, right? Uh, with such a record-breaking regular season, I was really hoping that this Super Bowl was going to be a shootout. Not so much, right? All right, Tom Brady is the greatest to ever do it. We get it. Two hands, too many rings, yada, yada, yada. Congratulations. I'm obviously disappointed that this was the last NFL game that I get to take in for the next six months. So I wanted to know what other sporting events have let you down in a big way. We asked you on Twitter at HQ Sports, and here's what you had to say. At Caveman Raps says, the most obvious answer is the Mayweather-Pacquiao fight. At Dustin, and a bunch of numbers, says the Western Conference Finals with no CP3 and all the missed threes. At O'Brien Steph 16 says, Game 3 of the 2018 ALDS was painful for Yankee fans. What do you mean? Losing 16-1 to to Boston? I loved every minute of that. At Yitzy Raven said, Every Baltimore Orioles game. Ooh, you got me there. I loved reading all of these. Thank you so much for participating, everyone. I also want to thank you. If you played along with me last night on Twitter, at HQ Sports, I was live tweeting some prop bets. And to those who answered correctly and the fastest, you have received extra lives. So congrats to all of you. That was a lot of fun. All right, HQ Sports, you know the deal. Tonight, I'll be taking you through 12 rounds of sports-only trivia. Get them all right, and you win. Tonight, we are playing for 10 million points. It's a lot of points. Hey, are you new to the whole points and levels thing? Let me break it down for you real quick. Aside from our points prizes, you can earn points from answering questions right, and by sharing your points and levels on social media, and by winning any other game on HQ. Yeah, easy as that. The more points you win, the quicker you can level up. When you level up, that means you get a free pass on questions. The more levels, the more free passes. That means you can have free passes on almost all questions, making the game a lot easier to win since you only need to answer a few questions at the very end. At our season finale, we will play for a jackpot cash prize that just keeps on growing. Let's see where it's at right now. Drum roll, please, $53,104. Yes, and that prize is just going to keep growing the more points that you earn. So keep playing HQ and earning points for a shot at that big cash prize. We have some very cool games coming up on HQ Trivia, especially this Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Scott Rogowski is going where no other trivia host has gone before. I can't say much because, you know, loose lips sink ships and all that, but it's really cool. You're not going to want to miss it. $75,000 presented by the Lego Movie. That's this Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, so check it out. All right, that'll do it for Coach's Notes. I hope you took that time to stretch and hydrate because now it's time to focus. To the over 131,000 players ready to step into the batter's box, let's go. Round one starts right now. Major League Baseball bats are made out of what? Pure silver, titanium, or wood? Only 10 days till pitchers and catchers report, 51 days till opening day, but who's counting, right? Oh, well, if you're hoping to hear that ping of a bat, that would be for Little League and college, where they still use metal bats. In the majors, it's all wood, you know, with the occasional cork hybrid, right? Wood is the answer here at round number one. 101,642 of you knew that one. Yeah, the cork hybrids, they don't get the ball any further, apparently. 
Can someone let Sammy Sosa know? Round number two. Who is now number two all time in NFL career playoff receptions? Julian Edelman, Brandon Cooks, or Cooper Cup? Mm-hmm. Better have your extra lives and your erasers handy for this game. Well, he's got a ways to go to catch Jerry Rice at 151, but... Super Bowl MVP Julian Edelman now has 115 NFL career playoff receptions. And besides the Patriots defense, he was the only standout player of last night's Super Bowl. Julian Edelman is the answer. 90,623 of you getting that one right as we make our way to round number three. The Knicks just dealt star Kristaps Porzingis to what NBA team? Dallas Mavericks, Los Angeles Lakers, or Washington Wizards? Oh, man. I feel like every Knicks fan has heard these words. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, the unicorn has left MSG to join Europe's best team. I mean, the Dallas Mavericks. Porzingis will join fellow star imports Dirk and Rookie of the Year fave Luka Doncic. Dallas Mavericks is your answer here. 72,026 of you knew that one, but did you know friend of HQ, Mark Cuban, says he wants to keep those two for 20 years. That should be interesting. Round number four. Due to off-field drama, what NFL team's star wide receiver said they had to stop being the Kardashians? New York Giants, Dallas Cowboys, or Pittsburgh Steelers? No Kardashian shenanigans happened at halftime, so I lose $5 to our producer, producer Laura. I know, I thought something crazy was going to happen. But listen, this team began the season with Le'Veon Bell holding out and ended with Antonio Brown sitting out a must-win game. But Juju Smith-Schuster, America's sweetheart, had enough with the Steelers reality show and said this. I think everyone just needs to stop being divas. I think we need to stop being the Kardashians and just play ball. Pittsburgh Steelers is your answer here at round number four. A little bit of a reality show, right? 51,029 of you knew that one. Knocking out over 30,000 here at round four. Team, we're just getting started. It's round five. What was the first top seed in men's college basketball to lose a 16 seed during March Madness? Kansas, Virginia, or Arizona? March Madness right around the corner. We're getting ready for it in a big way here at HQ Sports. So we're looking back, and the greatest first-round upset in men's NCAA history happened just last year. Do you remember? It? The University of Maryland, Baltimore County, took down Virginia, and it wasn't even close. Oh yeah, the Retrievers of UMBC won by 20. Virginia is the answer here at round number five. 51,397 of you remember that one. Again, kicking out over 30,000 here at round number five as we just head into our halfway point. It's round number six. Who is the most recent FedEx Cup champion? Is it Jordan Spieth, Justin Rose, or Tiger Woods? You know the FedEx Cup champion, right? That's like winning golf's version of the playoffs. Tiger won the final tournament of the year. You know, the generically titled Tour Championship. But at the end of that competition, Justin Rose finished in a dramatic fashion with a clutch birdie on the final hole to take home the FedEx Cup champion. Justin Rose is who we were looking for here. 43,221 of you knew that one. Another 30,000 gone. I'm starting to see uh, a little routine here. Round seven. Kendall Coyne became the first woman to compete in what NHL All-Star event? Save streak, fastest skater, or puck control? Kendall Coyne. She's had one hell of a year, huh? And now she's even breaking down barriers. She won a gold medal with Team USA last February and last week became the first woman to compete in an NHL All-Star Weekend Skills event, finishing as the seventh fastest Skater. Oh, yeah. Fastest skater. 25,271 of you knew that one. The questions are only getting tougher from here on out. Can you hang in there for the win? It's round number eight. Who was the youngest ever number one ranked player in men's tennis? Boris Becker, Leighton Hewitt, or Rafael Nadal? We're looking for the youngest to ever do it. For women, this was uh, a 14-year-old. Yeah. 
Not only was he the youngest number one, he was also the youngest year-end number one. And it all happened before Hewitt could legally celebrate a U.S. Open title with a legal glass of champagne. He won the Open in 2001 at 20 years old. Leighton Hewitt is the answer here. 7,218 of you getting that one right, knocking out almost 20,000 of you here. Oh my goodness, a few more rounds left. Can you hang on? It's round number nine. The record for most Formula One series championships is held by a driver from what nation? England, Spain, or Germany? Just a few more turns to get through on this final lap. No nation has more championships in total than the UK, but the most championships by a driver is seven by German legend Michael Schumacher. England's Lewis Hamilton is hot on his trail with five so far. Germany is the nation that we were looking for at round number nine. 3,524 of you getting that one right as we move into our final quarter. Hang on in there for the win. Round number 10. What goalkeeper has played the most games in U.S. men's soccer history? Tony Miola, Tim Howard, or Brad Guzan? What's it going to be, team? These rounds matter most. Between 2002 and his international retirement in 2017, Tim Howard was capped 121 times, a record for U.S. goaltenders. He started every World Cup game for the U.S. in 2010 and in 2014. He'll retire from the MLS at the end of this year. It's the legend, Tim Howard. 3,126 of you knew that one as we kick our way to our final two rounds. It's round 11. Which of these left-handed pitchers got the lowest percentage of the Baseball Hall of Fame vote? Sandy Koufax, Randy Johnson, or Steve Carlton? You know, the left arm of God, the big unit, and good old lefty. But maybe no one ever had a more dominant run in his prime than Koufax. His short career made some of the Baseball Hall's classically stingy voting block decide he wasn't worthy. Randy got 97%, Carlton got 95 but Koufax only got 86%. Sandy Koufax is the answer here at round number 11. 993 of you knew that one as we go into our final round. We got a lot of points on the line, 10 million. Oh yes, just picture the game is tied up. All you need to do is sink this jumper. One second left on the clock, can you do it? for the win. Let's find out, round number 12. What team was the lowest seed to win the NBA Finals? Houston Rockets, Detroit Pistons, or San Antonio Spurs? This is where it matters most, team. All right, it was the 1994-95 season and this team went 47 and 35. They got in as the sixth seed and they ended up winning back-to-back -back titles, interrupting the Bulls' six titles, remember that? They swept the Orlando Magic led by Shaq and Penny and are still the lowest seed to take the title. What's the team? It was the Houston Rockets! The Houston Rockets was the lowest seed. 678 of you got that one right, and you're our new HQ Sports MVPs. Congratulations. Oh yeah, 678 winners. I love it. This looks like we are splitting a prize of 14,750 points. Amazing. That will certainly help you level up and get closer and closer to that big jackpot. Who do we got here? Shays04. Okay, I see you there. Adrian Vaughn. All right, 14,750 points are coming your way. Ocon, Ocon Eric. You got a Mets shirt on your side. You're coming in sideways. Can't really tell, but all right. New York fan. I like it. Drinks cores. All right. That a man. 14,750 points are coming your way. Congrats again to all of our newest HQ Sports MVPs. So many points. So many correct answers in a row. You earned it. We play HQ Sports every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you again on Wednesday. 
Also, make sure you keep up with us on social media at HQ Sports and me at Lauren underscore Gambino on Twitter for the latest. Now, I'm finally off to cry myself to sleep and forget all about last night. Can someone just wake me up on March 28th? That's all I ask. I'm Lauren Gambino. Remember to hydrate, focus, and keep your head in the game.